Hello, I am Pam Free. It has been about a year since the majority of this council voted yes to put the craft fair at Pier Plaza out for proposal. I was the operator of Pier Plaza Art Affair for almost 30 years. Mike Posey stated that goodwill and good reputation do not translate into money for the city. So if this was purely to make money for the city, you have failed. During negotiations with Oliver Chi, I offered to pay an increased fee of $650 and 20%. He never responded. The city wanted the new daily fee to be $1,325 and 20%. Because the rental fee was so high, the only proposal received was from the Downtown Business Improvement District. The bid's proposal was for $1,325 and 20%. Well, of course, after they were awarded the contract, it seems that someone realized, oh gosh, the bid is a nonprofit and you only have to pay $600 a day and no percentage. This was obviously pre-planned. So the city is losing the extra money that I, the person with goodwill and good reputation, proposed to pay. If your intent was to hurt me because I am Casey McKeon's mother, you failed. I was ready to retire, but I did not due to concern for the artists. I had a full event with 56 artists and a wait list. The current operators have doubled the vendor fees. If your intent was to put all but approximately 15 of those artists out of work and struggling to support themselves, you have succeeded. Those artists cannot afford the increased fee. That is over 42 people that have lost their income. Do you understand that you are responsible for their hardship? Kim Carr and Natalie Mosier are the downtown bid liaisons. Two council meetings ago, Kim Carr stated that everything was great at the craft fair. Actually, on average, only 30 vendors now participate. Do you consider that great? 40% or more of those vendors sell jewelry. This is allowed because management can't get other vendors. Do you consider that great? Because business has not been good, the management told the vendors that 30% of their merchandise can be commercially made, bought and resold, not made by the artists in the booth, which was never allowed the last 30 years. That, that puts them in direct competition with the downtown merchants and is a huge breach of their contract. Do you consider that great? The vendors are set up outside the boundary lines every week, according another breach of contract. Do you consider that great? Dan Kelmick's friend, Mr. Bixby, was at my event for days taking photos and reported a code violation, claiming we are outside of our boundaries. What Oliver Chi told Mr. Bixby is that those new boundaries are put in place by the fire department and the city to allow us to space the tents apart during COVID so we could safely reopen. Where is Mr. Bixby now? How about another four, how about a four-quarter tent blowing onto Coast Highway? Is that great or poor management? The increased fees and insurance requirements are keeping first-time artists away. Do you consider that great? I hear there is a lack of full-time supervision. Again, do you consider that great? Thank you very much.